So Leia is here! Hey guys, welcome to my video on the upcoming Children of Fate heroes. This time we have four new heroes. Sigurd, Chiro, and Soleil from the new Children of Fate banner. And Rayad from the Enduring Love banner. Let's start with Sigurd and Chiro. These two are very interesting. They have a lot of parallels. Sigurd is an offensive sword cavalry unit. While Shiro is, an, is a defensive lance infantry unit. Both have very high attack. Sigbird also has very nice speed, while Shiro has very high defense. Sigbird's legendary weapon is Dark Great Sword, which gives him plus 4 attack and speed when attacking, while Shiro's legendary weapon is Right Naginata, which gives him plus 4 attack and defense when attacked. Shiro's A skill is Stage Dance, which gives him plus 6 defense when attacked, while Sigbird's A skill is Death Blow, which grants his plus 6 attack when attacking. Finally, their C skills are both new. Shiro's is Defense Tactic, which gives plus 6 defense to close allies, with this interesting restriction. While Sigbert's C skill is Attack Tactic, which gives plus 6 attack with the same restriction. These skills are very strong and they promote diversity of movement types when, bu when building your team. Their last skills are nothing special. I think both Shiro and Sigbert are very strong. With his base kit and neutral stats, she can reach 61 attack and 39 speed when, when initiating combat. On the other hand, Shiro reaches 45 defense when attacked, which is great in a quick repulse build. Stay stance could also be replaced with Steady Breath, if you're willing to sacrifice an Ike. This would let Shiro play a very strong either build, which is awesome for Tempest Trials and Chain Challenges. Stay stance and the new tactic skills are also very nice for Inheritance. Our third hero is Soleil, which is an offensive infantry sword unit with very high attack and speed. Her defense and resistance are also decent. The most important part of her kit is her weapon, Fire Super Sword. This is the new sword version of the already existing Fire Super Lance and Fire Super Bow. It allows Soleil to attack without worrying about getting countered, making her a very strong player face unit. The drawback is that it doesn't let you attack on the enemy's turn. Soleil's A skill is Starting Blow, which is actually great with her weapon, but can be replaced with Life and Death or Swift Sparrow if you have the resources. Her C skill is Strike Resistance, which is just nice. Finally, Soleil's special is Blazing Weed, which is not that good really. Soleil is my favorite unit from this matter. Her super weapons are really strong and her stats are very high. She's also the most likely to be downgraded to 4 stars after the banner ends, which would make Fire Super Sword not difficult to get. Our last hero is Rajat. She'll come in the Enduring Love banner along Priscilla, Faye, and Tharja. She's an infantry green mage with nice attack and speed. Her resistance is okay and her defense is pretty low. Her weapon is King Gromwolf, which is effective against cavalry units, and it's new to the summoning pool. Her A skill is Decent Defense. This alone makes Rajat an awesome fodder unit. Her C skill is Savage Flow, which is not really exciting, as it is already Camila's 4 stars skill. Finally, her assist skill is Rally Attack Defense, which is okay for boosting Arena score. Rayat is okay as a Reinhardt counter, especially with the refined King Ron Wolf that negates buffs on cavalry units. Her distance speed means quick repost is not really necessary, but it still helps if you really want to counter speedy blue mages like Linde. Rayat could also be downgraded to 4 stars, which, is, which could make this and defense a lot easier to get. I think the new heroes are very strong, all of them with very good stats. But in my opinion, the most exciting part of the new heroes is the skills they bring to the summoning pool. I'm really excited to try Fire Silver Sword on my Pala. The new tactic skills could also find a place in some of my teams. I would also like to build Soleil if I get a spare one. She looks really fun. So yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more Fire Emblem videos. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye!